Congratulations on the purchase of your new X-Trail. Let me go through some of the features and controls for you. So there's many different ways of opening the boot. Uh, one of them is just step forward with your foot underneath. Step back, and it opens up for you, uh, which is great when you've got your hands, uh, hands full of bags. Uh, also, there's a button on here. You can press this button here to bring it down again. You can also open the boot by pressing the buttons under here or actually using the button on the keys. Which I'll show you now. This button here. That will also open the boot for you as well. This model has the seven seats, so all you need to pull them up is pull the release handle and then lift them up. Um, and to drop them down again, pull the release handle and drop them down. Inside here, you've got your tools, like your jack and your wheel brace. Uh, they're all inside here. Underneath here on this compartment, it's got your uh, tonneau cover, and below that you have your spare wheel. You've also got a 12 volt socket inside the boot here, and you've also got ties to secure things down inside the boot. On the back door, you have your child lock switch. Push that down, it deactivates the uh, handles inside the car uh, for safety. And if you have it up, that will uh, give you free access in and out. Now the back seat, there is a uh, piece in the back here you can pull up to release the seats forward. You can also pull this lever down the bottom drop them all the way down flat so if you need more boot space and um, underneath the front there's a handle you can pull some over seats backwards and forwards to bring the center down you pull this lever here and you can drop this down for your cup holders and into the front of the car this one here you can lock and unlock the car so currently it's open press the button is now locked and press it again to unlock the car. On the inside of the door you have your window controllers. This button here disables the other controllers on the other door so children can't undo the windows while going down the motorway. And this one here is for locking the doors from the outside. So we're doing that locks it down so obviously no one can get in the car from the outside for security purposes. Um, this here is for your mirror adjustment and you've got your selector for your left mirror and your right mirror and then just use this to adjust it and this button here is to uh, bring the mirrors bring the mirrors in manually after they are set to also fold as well this indicator on here glows orange when you have a car in your blind spot obviously to sort of let you know there's a car to the, to the side obviously on both sides of the car as well um, so you don't pull out into the path of an oncoming vehicle. On the side of the driver's seat, you have this button here, which you can slide backwards and forwards for the adjusting seat. The back edge, if you lift that up and down, it raises and lowers the seat. This one is for the angle of the backrest. This one is for the uh, lumbar support on the lower part of the spine, so it brings the chair in and out. Uh, and the lower small of your back. Down here we have your bonnet release and fuel release, heated steering wheel button. Uh, this one's to turn off the start stop technology, uh, it does save you fuel. Uh, the automatic, you've also got an eco button to make the car drive more economically. Your electronic stability program, which you'd normally leave that on unless you're driving in ice or snow or slip, very slippery conditions. Um, it's there to sort of help the car control the car in the event of a skid on a normal road. This is your lane departure warnings. Another way of opening the boot, so you hold this button down and it will open the, uh, the power tailgate for you. Um, which you can turn off, so you can do it manually as well, but you know, normally you'd leave that on. Here you have the light adjustment for the dashboard, so you can turn the lights up and down within the dashboard and your trip reset.
Now moving on to your steering wheel and steering column controls. Up here you have the uh, stick for the windscreen wipers. So one push up is on a single wipe. One push down is automatic. Which this collar piece here will adjust the sensitivity. So you can manually put them on by pressing the other one down. This cap on the end is for the rear wiper, intermittent and full. And we'll see by pulling it towards you or pushing it away, it will spray water on the front and rear windscreens. On the steering wheel, you can also answer your phone calls here and also activate your voice control and also put the call down there too. These two buttons here are your cruise control and speed limiter. So if I show you how that one works, so if I press the speed limiter button and then press set on the display here, The limit is now set at 20 miles an hour. So it's designed to stop you creeping over the speed limit. Obviously you can increase that, and if you hold the button down, it will jump. So that will prevent it from accidentally uh, creeping over 35 miles an hour. And to remove it, just press it again. Now your cruise control, so if you're on the motorway doing 70 miles an hour, it's nice and clear. You might wish to press this button and press set. 70 miles an hour will come up on the display there and then you can take your feet off the pedals and the car will stay at that speed for you. However, if you want to speed up or slow down, you can use these two buttons here um, to speed up or slow the car down. However, if someone does put in front of you going a lot slower, um, you can use the brakes to slow the car down, which will disengage the um, cruise control. But if you want to reset it again, just press set and then it will re-engage itself. Moving on to the other side of the steering wheel, you've got these buttons here. So these two will toggle through your radio stations or the tracks on your CD. This one for the volume control will work also with your radio, uh, with your phone calls. It'll also work with the sat nav if you catch it while she's talking. These buttons here and this one are for the uh, TFT display in the dashboard. So you can scroll across to show the different screens that are available to you. settings if I press a, the OK button there's then different uh, things I can go into the display let's press OK on content settings so I could choose what screens uh, I wish to see on my display and also uh, which screens I don't wish uh, to display on my main screen and then you can use the back button to come out of that setting um, and back again vehicle settings lighting, turn case, unlocking, these are all things that you can uh, go in and uh, change to see how you like the car set up. On this side of the steering wheel you've got your lighting controls, so the lights are currently on automatic but you can turn them on manually, put the side lights on or turn them off completely. Um, this one is for your fog lights, so push it forward for your front fog lights, pull it back for your rear fog lights, pull towards you for flash, push it away from you for the main beam and I'll see the indicator so I'll put it as well. Now moving on to your centre console. So I'll work our way through. So here in the uh, armrest you've got a 12 volt socket in here. You've got your uh, heated seat buttons so high and low settings and also this one is for the rear seats as well. This little piece here, I don't know if you can see the arrow there, but it's pointing towards either vents or closed. So if you have it on vented and you've got your air conditioning on, you'll grow to blow cool air around the here, which will help keep your you know your cans of drink cool. Um, and this one obviously being automatic. This one's got the electronic uh, handbrake which you lift it up to put it on and push it down to turn it off however you would either need to have your foot on the foot brake to do that manually or if you just put the car into drive or first gear and drive away the handbrake will automatically release and let you go under here you've got another 12 volt socket a usb port and an auxiliary socket you have a dual climate control system so you've got your front demister aircon button um, automatic so it'll adjust the, uh, the fan speed depending on what temperature you set the car to 
recirculating air. Um, basically, this is the different modes of where it will blow to. So this is basically aimed at the windscreen, windscreen and eye level um, feet, and you obviously can have any combination of those. This also is for your fan speed. You can turn the fan up or down with this button. Um, you can turn the whole unit off as well. Um, this one is the dual button, so you can control both sides on this one. Or if I put it on dual, you can just control the driver's side independently. Your main infotainment screen that you have here. So this button here gives you your phone screens. So contact, call this, read on, and uh, connect a new phone. You the radio button with the, uh, with the radio stations. Um, you have a DAB list, so you've got all your stations here. You can scroll through like so. Uh, if there's one that you like to look off, like uh, say this one, and you want to save it, just hold down the button, and now that's saved on button number five for you. Um, obviously you can switch to CD or auxiliary, which would be Bluetooth or plug-in auxiliary. Um, this one here will toggle through the tracks on your CD and the radio stations as well. You have your camera button. When you put the car in reverse, they um, automatically uh, will come on. Showing you the rear view here and the full overview. Now if I turn the steering wheel, you see the lines on the screen move. So it tells you your projected route for the car. Um, on this screen here, if I press the camera button again, that'll be the front wheel on passenger side, so you can line it up, you know, drive up to the curb and then straighten it out as you uh, as you come in close. Over this side here, you've got your map button, so press map. Uh, and your map's come up on the, uh, on the screen there. Navigation. So you search for new addresses, previous ad uh, destinations, points of interest, home, um, and cancel the route. The so next page has a few more um, icons there as well. You can choose from like address book and so on. Um, information, so apps, traffic messages, and your eco store. You've got a button here to sort of dim the display, which you can adjust. And the setup button, which could be for things like uh, adjusting the sound, um, the system, so you can do the display. sorts of things that you can change on there. Back from that one. Settings for your navigation, route options, fastest, minimise toll roads, that kind of thing. Um, Power up a new phone, something like that. Set pair of devices. Obviously there's quite a few devices being connected to this one, but yeah, you can pair a new device here. Um, and then just to get access to the phone, which will be on the video. Um, moving up from there, we have the hazard warning lights here. We have the button to turn off the anti-dazzle mirror. So I'm going to get the sunglasses. This button here is for the roof controls. So a slight push back will open the display. And if I poke it, it will open this section slightly. And the paint again will close it down and if I pull it all the way back it will then open the, uh, the roof for you. Along here you've got all your light controls and this button um, is designed to turn off the internal sensor for the alarm system so if you had the dog or children in the car and you would just pop out and pay at the garage you can still lock and alarm the car but their movements would not um, would not set the alarms off. Well hopefully you like your new car and uh, if you have any further questions you can always